This is a video of an arthroscopic bank cart stabilization repair. Here I am looking from the posterior portal. I am using a freer elevator to lift off the torn anterior inferior labrum. I'm then using a shaver to remove residual fraying of the cartilage. Once I've freed up the labrum, then I use a suture lasso and I grasp and pass one suture through the anterior inferior labrum. I am using a real pass shoveling suture into the joint and then retrieving it out through the same single cannula anteriorly. I then pass a racking hitch stitch and cinch this down. I then use that first stitch as a tensioning suture so that I could pass a second. I pass a shoveling suture through the anterior inferior labrum grasp this and clamp it outside the shoulder. Then I drill a pilot hole for the 2.9 push lock, load the push lock anchor with the suture, and you can see here as I impact the push lock into the glenoid that I am shifting the anterior inferior labrum superiorly. I then cut the suture with the suture cutter. I then pass the second suture to create a racking hitch stitch. I cinch this down once again, I drill another 2.9 millimeter pilot hole for the push lock that's been loaded up. And you can see here, as the push lock goes into the glenoid, the anterior inferior labrum gets shifted superiorly. I then cut the suture. Here's a final look at the arthroscopic bank cart stabilization. And you can see a nice bumper has been recreated, and the capsule and labrum have been shifted superiorly. I am probing it, and it is very stable.